Hey everyone, so for the past few months, we have been working on this, as you can see, massive aviary back here. Um, I'm so excited to finally be able to do this because I've been just itching to get a better space for the birds. I know the, the current setup we have isn't too bad, but it's not exactly what I wanted. It was more of a temporary solution. And I know a lot of people are going to be really disappointed to hear we aren't moving anytime soon. Um, I w I've worked on that relentlessly for the past two years, but unfortunately because COVID happened, it really, you know, just ruined those plans. A lot of things changed. People started moving like crazy to Texas and the housing market just got insane. And there's a lot of nuances to it, but I didn't feel like it would be safe Especially with the birds. The birds complicated a lot. I didn't feel like it would be safe for us to move and strain ourselves like that. And so I was just kind of thinking, okay, well, what can we do in the meantime? Well, I think this is the solution. Because this is, I mean, this thing is, we're going to walk down here a little bit. This thing is uh, it's almost as many square feet as my actual house. So I'm gonna just give you the tour here. We've got a, almost all the framing taken care of. I, I should have started filming earlier. I'll, I'll show some pictures of the process though. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking for everything. And if you'd like to contribute um, to helping us complete this, there is there are links in the description. We need like mesh if you wanna go on Amazon. We have a uh, list in the description. You can order mesh for us directly from Amazon and have it sent to us that we can put up here. We wanna get trees planted in here so that you guys can get trees for the birds and you'll know the trees will always be here with the birds and providing endless enrichment for them for the foreseeable future. But let's start with the back here because this is uh, where I'm going to set up a little kind of like covered area basically to keep them out of the elements keep them out of the sun if it gets too hot or it's raining or something they can come back here and stay out of it uh, so about six feet back here is going to be completely enclosed with uh, corrugated metal uh, and then around the bottom as well we're going to have like skirts around the bottom of that same kind of metal to keep uh, animals from potentially bothering them, you know, around the bottom. I know the murder shed's still there. Everyone, ignore the murder shed. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it soon. As soon as this is done, we'll start on other stuff like that. But for now, we just wanna get a nice space for the for this year, for the birds to stay out here. I'd really like to just have them out here um, permanently for the spring and summer. And then I was kind of thinking maybe the winter months we could Potentially, I don't know how feasible this is, but I was thinking potentially we could cover all the openings where the mesh would be uh, with some like greenhouse plastic, and then we're gonna have gravel at the bottom. And I was thinking maybe it would trap enough heat during the winter to keep the area warm, and if not, maybe we could get heaters inside here or something, and we could keep the more tropical plants alive and the birds outside in the sun year round, um, which would be awesome for them. Because it does get, for like a couple months, it gets fairly cold. Not as cold as like other places, but, you know, probably a little too cold for more tropical type stuff. Uh, we're in like USD zone, USDA zone 8. So really, ideally, we should be in like 9 at least. But we're going to make everything work here. Um, additionally, so we're going to have everything planted out. Fruit trees palms, uh, Cecropia and other native species from Brazil and Central America, uh, stuff that would grow fruit for them, uh, fig trees, uh, a lot of people have already sent in fig trees, papaya trees, palms, um, and if you go to the description and you go to the GoFundMe or go to the Venmo or whatever else, if you just add a description for what it's for specifically, uh, we'll add you to the list basically and you'll get credited and each additional follow-up video here, and uh, also when we fully reveal the aviary. So um, I wanna also 
set up misters, of course. Help keep them cool if it gets too hot. And then also uh, cameras, that's a big thing. Because right now, I don't really, I don't know. The, the camera setup where the aviary is has just been a pain in the butt. And I think it would be really cool if we could find a way to get multiple cameras in here where maybe somehow with through text or something people can interact with uh, the streams and change the camera locations if it's just the birds. And then with me out here with them as well, I, it's going to be awesome because I know everybody really likes the like inside setup when we stream and we haven't done that in a while because I've been wanting to lean more towards just having them outside. But um, I thought we could kind of combine that and get the best of both worlds where like we could stream and have like a camera set up here, you know, like normal. And then I could have like a chair out here or something and sit and talk to you guys and the birds have all the space and sunlight and fresh air and foraging activities and enrichment and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so it kind of combines both aspects and there's way more room for me to move around out here so it's going to make filming so much easier. And um, I don't know, I just love the look of the videos when there's plants and stuff in the background with the natural sunlight. So, oh man, oh, but I am... Uh, man, I'm just so excited for this. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how excited I am for it to just be finished here. And it sucks that we can't move right now, but I want to make sure I do everything smart and play it safe. And we'll have to do some things in steps, like the security system is going to cost a lot of money. Because um, I want to be able to not only use it as a streaming device, but, you know, also security for them. Um, just so I know that they're safe out here. Nobody's messing with them. No animals are messing with them. And then also we should be able to be dismantle this when we do move and take it with us because everything is kind of just bolted together in a way that we can just take it apart and hopefully load it in the truck and put it up somewhere else. At least that's, that's what I hope. And the best part is we're going to have way more space and I'm thinking of for this, probably not right now immediately, but if we can we'll probably segment part of it and leave one big space and one smaller space so that we can take in new birds. And then we'll also still have the same space that I'm going to redo that they're in now. But I want to redo it with better mesh and probably like coat all the wooden parts with something that has some armor to it that's going to keep it from uh, rotting or the birds messing with it and stuff like that. So. <sighs> But yeah, I'm just super excited to share this with you guys. Um, and it's been a huge help for me to get help from you guys as well. Because this started off, I, you know, I thought it was going to be like $5,000 to do it. So I was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And then it's just, it's gone way over that now. And yeah, so it's it's been a little stressful for me. Uh, trying to figure out how to do that safely while not, you know, compromising everything for keeping us you know saving money and all that sort of thing because I do still want to move definitely and expand in the future I you guys have heard me say a million times I hate being here but I don't know what other solution to do with the birds because they come first and uh they complicate a lot and it's not like I can just go get a condo or an apartment somewhere else you know because they have to have space outside they have to have a lot of space outside otherwise I'm I don't feel I'm doing my job the way I should be. Um, so I have to put them first, unfortunately, which sucks for me, but you know, it makes me happy to see them happy also. So just baby steps, we'll work our way up there. I think this is a great uh, solution for now and I'm really excited about it. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and dedication just over the years. And sorry, I'm like really squinting hard here. My birthday is actually next week. Um, also merch, stuff like that down below is going to help for all this. Uh, basically all, all that's all going to go towards the aviary for the time being until this thing is done completely. And I want to also, uh, spend, I think it's going to cost about three grand for us to actually start a nonprofit, which I really want to do this year. So we have some steps to take this year to build up to where I want to be. And that's, that's on the list as well. But first and foremost, this needs to be done for the birds because it's going to really not only make them happier and give them more space, but it's going to open up our possibilities for videos and streaming 
uh, and make things a little easier for me. So, but love you guys. We will see you next time and bye for now. Thank you.